In this video, I'm going to be going from low GSP to hopefully elite smash with Kirby and explaining along the way what kind of habits people have at different levels of Smash Bros. So I actually made a new account for this, as you can see, and I came in and lost a few games with Kirby specifically to get the GSP even lower. Let's jump into first match with Kirby. We are starting it off with 3.3 million GSP. All right, here we go. At this low GSP level, a lot of it, honestly, is that they will not be using shield and they won't know how to deal with shield. See how they just did that straight into my shield just then? Like, people at this GSP level just, like, never, ever do run-up grab. Like, look. Like, what? <laughs> They're just spamming so many attacks, holding forward. So, this game should be a bit of a walk in the park. I chose Kirby as well, because Kirby is, like, the most basic character in Smash Bros. Everyone says Mario, but actually it's Kirby, which is why they always put Kirby as, like, in the different campaigns, like, in the World of Light, you start off with Kirby. I remember Sakurai saying, like, Kirby's, like, the most basic. You can, like, it's less likely you'll SD with him if you're new, because you have, like, multiple jumps. So, uh, that is why we are starting it off with the Kirby here. Kirby's too small. Be interested to see how they try and get off the ledge, actually. Okay, so goes high that time. Flies onto stage with the attacks. Another attack out of shield. <laughs> oh, that is brutal. Okay, that was the first match. Definitely just the shield came into play there. All right, we're climbing up. We are at 3.9 mil GSP now. Oh, okay. The Kirby and the Jigglypuff. The little puffball battle right now. All right, so this is slightly higher GSP. Let's see Let's see what this is about. Let's see if they can deal with the shield yet. Already a near out of shield. Oh, okay. They're using a bit of shield themselves. And they've gone for a grab. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, this person's using... They're like doing an attack and then doing shield a lot of the time after. So this person's... Yeah, see, definitely a bit better. Ready? They'll attack and then hold shield. Attack, hold shield. That's definitely another habit though. That's another level of layer to the um habits. Is like people a lot of the time they'll do an attack and then they'll be like okay i missed the attack i'm scared let me shield you know what i mean like look see how he keep oh this is incredible it just does the same thing every single time like usually people still do that at top level but it's like they don't do it literally every time but obviously since we're only like three million gsp they're gonna do it like every time so like my plan would be to get a bit more damage now up throw will probably kill if i get one more hit so like i'll just try and demonstrate it here he'll miss an attack and then he'll shield and then I'll get the up throw for the kill. Oh. Okay, L low GSP, anything can happen. But yeah, if you look at your gameplay, you might notice that. Because people do... If it's not always shield. Like, people do, like, attack, roll. Dirt, spot, dodge. Back air, run away. And things like that. So, it's really good. You can catch people off guard who are reading that. By, like, missing an attack. And then just running in and attacking again. Because they're, like, trying to chase you down. But you just do another aggressive option. And take them by surprise. Alright, I really want to kill with Grab here to demonstrate my points. Let's get his damage up. Alright, this should be enough for up throw to kill. Let me demonstrate. Ready? They'll miss an attack and shield. Come on. Do it. Yeah. They would have done it. I swear. I broke their spirit. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully you, you, you saw what I was saying. All right, who's our next opponent here? Oh, and Ness. Okay, I love versing Ness. I love getting edge guards on Ness. And uh, Nesses have a classic habit of always double jumping past the ledge. Same with Lucas's, same with Mewtwo's with those floaty jumps. They always do it. See that? See that right there? They love it. They absolutely love it. Wait for it. Out of here. Out of here. Now we can get the edge guard down B. Oh, okay, that got the kill. If you hit Ness there, it like halves the distance of his recovery if you didn't know. All right, what other habits does he have? Let's try and look. Lots of PK fire. That is a classic for online Ness. Get out of here. Get out of here. There's that double jump. Hit him off. I don't want to kill him for that though. I want to I wanna kill him for something else. Punish that PK fire. If you shield PK fire, you can like dash out a shield and punish it. <laughs> Get those PK fires out of here. Okay, one more habit. What can we punish him for? Nah, the, the, the dashback PK fire. Air dodge. Oh, no. 
Oh no, you can press it again. Oh, he doesn't know. So many SDs in this video. By the way, if you enjoy this concept and would want to see it with more different characters, please drop a like on this video because that's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this concept. And then just comment in the characters that you would like to see me uh, do this with the most. Oh, up against a pit. Okay, this is going to be a great character to try and land some down airs on. I haven't been going off stage much yet, so maybe we should see if we can land those. All right, this guy looks a bit better. He's got better spacing. He's not always just dashing in. Like, he's got the run-ins, the run-outs. I like it. I like it. All right, there I did a bit of an overshoot to catch him dashing back because he has like this, and then he'll run away. Ooh, run in. Run away. Okay, yeah, jumping out of disadvantage, not air dodging. He'll probably keep doing that because he's pit and he has like a hundred jumps. Yep, see, he jumps straight into that back air. Now, usually I would adapt and think they're going to go low, but, you know, this is, this is only 5 mil GSP. He might keep jumping. Yep, he jumped straight into that. Oh, that's dirty. Yeah, this guy's got a bit of the, uh, when you miss and you're aggressive, like, like run away. See, arrow, run away. But he's good. He's got he's got better spacing than anyone we've versed yet. He's, he's doing pretty all right. I feel like I'm playing better, honestly, that I'm, like, communicating my ideas as I'm playing. Oh, my God. That move never works. Jump. Oh, he went a bit low that time. Maybe he's adapting. All right, chuck him off. Is he going to jump into this or is he going to adapt? Oh, he went. He's going low now. Okay, this guy's adapted. This guy's all right. All right, here's side B. Oh, I wanted it. <laughs> I wanted it. Let me end it with a spike. No, that doesn't kill, right? Dang it. We're doing well. We are flying through these low GSPs. Okay, we are at 6.1 million GSP now. So things are going to get a little bit less black and white. If someone has a habit, they're probably not going to be doing it like every single time like that Jigglypuff. All right, this warrior is coming flying out the gates right now. Super aggressive. Let's just shield some of that and get the damage. So it might be more of a just general play style. Like this guy, super aggressive. Look at that, flying in. Like he might not do the exact same attack each time, but look at this guy. If I just if I just stay chill, shield if he does have time to attack before me and then, and then get the punish out of shield. Or if I have enough time to attack first, throw out a hitbox like that and it'll catch him coming in and flying towards me. This would be a lot easier if I had like... Uh, more range than Wario. Kirby, I can, I can make it work. I can make it work. For the kills, we could definitely land like some pivot F smashes or something because he's going to fly at me. I'm going to dodge it and then I'm going to get the kill. Just like that. Oh, it wasn't enough yet. Okay, going low for that first recovery. Keep that in mind. All right, there we go. Out space again with the forward smash. That time it killed. Oh, this is dangerous now. Okay, if he gets one wop set up, I'm dead. So now I gotta look out for the wop setup. Definitely, yeah, definitely just got hit by that to uh, demonstrate how I'm gonna avoid the wop setup. Don't get hit by any nares. That's the big thing. Any landing up airs. So just a lot of shield. If I get chomped a hundred times, it's better than getting nared into waft once. And no rolls, because if you roll into up tilt, it's, like, it's scary. Warrior has waft. It's 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 a dangerous game. One pivot edge smash would definitely kill him again, though. Maybe I should just go for that. That is so embarrassing. All right, I ain't losing any more in this video. Okay, we're sweating now. I hope we run into that Wario again. Oh, we didn't. Captain Falcon, this is going to be fun for down airs. Okay, guys, trust me. I, you, you can trust me, I swear. I, I'm good at the game. Hold on, look at this, look at this. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Out of here, out of here. Caught that double jump. Now he's dead, now he's dead. Look at this. Boom! Okay. This guy's so aggressive. Oh my god. Get out of here, dude. Double jump. Punish that. Now he goes low. Kill him! See, guys? I I'm alright. I'm alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Three stock. Still can't believe that warrior beat me. I'm still annoyed at that. Oh, I saw her double jump come out. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's important to keep an eye on that. You see that little boop? little bubble underneath them when they do their double jump, then uh, I just realized Kirby doesn't have one. That's crazy. But most characters have that little air bubble when uh, when they do their double jump. Max, what are you doing? Goodbye. That's two, that's, uh, that counts. That's two three stocks in a row since that Wario. I told you, I'm, I'm nuts. Pop a handshake? Oh, yo, what up, Fergberg? That's so funny. All right, our first projectile character. So let's see how they use their projectiles. 
All right, yeah, see, he's jumping away. Most people have been too aggressive. See how he was double jumping away? Because he wants to get room to set up his projectiles. Oh, re-grab. Get out of here, son. Get out of here, son. Ah, get out of here. Oh, no, not again. Oh, my God. <laughs> I wanted the suicide kill. See, I knew he would run, or, well, run or roll away because he, he wants to. He wants to create that space. He wants to be defensive. But I'm catching onto that. You ain't running nowhere. Yeah, roll to the ledge. Yeah, you would. You would. No, 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 no. You ain't escaping nothing. You're dead, boy. Get him out of here. Suicide. <laughs> you could not run away. Oh no, my camera's out of battery. All right, we're in the 7.2 mil GSP now. So 7.2 mil GSP, I think Elite Smash is like around 9.6 mil GSP right now. So we're like 2 million and a little bit away. Out of here. Out of here with that. Double jump. No, they went low so they can use their tether. Okay, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people at this low GSP do the same thing every time. So let's... Yeah, don't go low. Don't go low again. It's that quick adaptation, boy. That's what you need. Honestly, I feel like I usually don't adapt this quick, but since I'm saying it out loud, it's, it's like I'm actually playing better. Maybe when I play next tournament, I should like talk out loud in my head or something. All right, they went low again. Oh my god, I'm all over this Byleth. I'm just, I'm just, just getting straight in their face so they can't use their range. It is working very well. Go low. Oh no, they did it. They did it again. Oh. That's a DLC privilege right there. You cooked it with the arrow. God gave you your DLC privilege and you chucked it in the bin. And by God, of course, I mean Sakurai. They have not jumped much from the ledge. They've just been doing, uh, yeah, regular or roll. That time they did regular into roll. All right, here we go. Here we go. They're going to regular or they're going to roll. Oh, another Kirby. Kirby Dittos. Let's go. This is going to be fascinating. Blue Kirby is way better though. By the way, I... <gasps> Wait, do you know Papa Handshake? Or are you just doing that because we're both Kirby's? I don't think they know the Papa Handshake. No. Let's go. Blue Kirby reigns superior. Back when I played Smash Bros. Brawl and I was like a casual, I, Kirby used to be my best character because I would just literally like spam up B like that and then down B. And then um, and then if anyone beat me but I was playing pink Kirby, I would be like, nah, 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 that doesn't count. You got to play my blue Kirby. That's my real main. Does anyone else have a thing like that where it's like, nah, 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 you got to beat my, my perfect skin that I play all the time. Then it counts. Oh, that is disgusting. The pivot F smashes and stuff just work really good in these lower GSP levels. Same with like Nesses always do so well because they do like run back PK fire and it's just broken at this level because people aren't taking their time. They're always like running at people and not overshooting. So then like you just dodge the move and then you, you hit them in the face. And yeah, that's right. I got, I got those dunks. I got those spikes, those slam dunks. I'm looking like I'm in the NBA with all these dunks I'm getting. Stage, what's he gonna do? Oh, he double jumped. Oh, he double jumped again. No, oh, people fiend the jumps. I guess that's not a double jump again. It's like a double jump and then a triple jump. Oh no. I only have three minutes to kill a zombie three times. Oh no. I hope they're not super campy. Let's see. We're at 8.2 mil GSP right now. So people are going to be sweating it out. People are going to be getting good now. And also I think the GSP starts to go up really slow around here. Like it's not like the 3 mil GSP where you win one match and you get a billion. Don't fact check me on that. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. You're dead and stay dead you zombie. Don't come back. Ooh. Tasty little combo. Nah, let's break this. Don't let him get the diamond. Oh, true. No, I know he's going to do that minecart. Can I F smash it? I can. I can F smash it. <laughs> that was so weird. Why didn't I do the zoom in? 8.6. Rune star. You're about to go in the doop star, if you know what I mean. Jumping in aerial. Landing aerial. Oh, that's another thing. Is people don't just like land without doing anything until you literally, until you reach like elite smash level. Like people are not just gonna land. Nah, 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 nah. See, they, they can't just press no buttons. They gotta press something. And I think, I think a lot of people I'm versing are gonna be scared to go low because um, Kirby's got that, uh, oh, I just had to go for it, didn't I? Kirby's got that down there that's so brutal. Oh, that was nice. Go high. 
Oh, maybe he's adapted. No! Oh, that was a misinput. That's so sad. This was this was a good match so far. Oh man, we got him. We got him. Oh, almost at nine. Ooh, Bowser. This is definitely a character we can try and hit the hit the recoveries. Three minutes again. Is that me? Maybe I've accidentally left my rules since I only just made this account on only three minutes, and that's why. I keep only getting three minute matches. Nothing's been a timeout yet, luckily. But why do I have the feeling that now that I said that, this is gonna go to timeout? I know how to combo without the platform. There we go. Oh, he caught his double jump. Oh, no, nice. okay. Okay, you see that, how he went a bit high with it? He's not afraid to let it rip. So I'm gonna try and bait that out next time. Bro, what's that? What is that? Are you kidding? This guy's legit. This guy's good. Punish that. Fake the edge guard. It worked so well. That was perfect. Literally, I just said it the time before. Out of here. Fake the edge guard. Get the punish. Now he'll go low. Yep, now he went low because he was scared. He got punished twice in a row. One step ahead. 50 seconds. No. Okay, okay. Let me focus. I got to get the win quick. We only got 50 seconds. I don't want to be losing in sudden death. There we go. There we go. 9.286. I think we might be two or maybe three matches away from Elite Smash right now. This is where it starts to get tough. Honestly, sometimes this level of gameplay is just as hard as Elite Smash because people are sweating it out because these people, are they know they're just below Elite Smash and they, and they want to get in. Compared to people who are already like well in Elite Smash, they don't care. They're just, they're just playing, just mucking around. This guy, Chicken14, he knows he's a couple of games off making a lead smash. Usually you want to hold shield because people don't grab, but against the Luigi, I feel like he's going to want to grab. So it's more so trying to use my jumps is going to be my game plan versus Luigi. Because I, I don't, I don't want to risk getting grabbed, risk getting hit by this guy's bloody zero to death combo. Oh, that's cheeky as well. The down B off the ledge. All right. Oh, this guy ain't about those panic rolls. Punish that down B though. It's important to know which moves are super laggy. Like, in the last game, I got that F smash on the Bowser's up B. This game, getting the F smash on the Cyclone. You need to know what you can F smash and get the kill with compared to just, uh... Oh, no. That is so sad. Can we please get one million likes? It's important to know what you can F smash instead of just grabbing, like, every single time. Oh, that's such a troll. 9.5. Oh, and we're versing a Joker, probably the best character in the game, with Kirby, who's unfortunately definitely not the best character in the game. All right, let's see how this guy plays. Let's see what we can work out here. This guy's going to be good. I'm going to try and use shield. He's looking for... Oh, he, he, yeah, he's looking for grabs. He's missed two grabs already. Okay, maybe not so much shield. Maybe a bit more spacing. Throw out some attacks. Hopefully he runs into them. Dirty. So dirty. Oh, Kirby, you are disgusting, boy. Oh, my God. He's swinging now. Now he's pissed. Now he is pissed. Punish that. <laughs> the classic. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Goes low. Didn't double jump there. Maybe he'll do that again. Should we just go low? Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, he double jumped that time. Okay. Okay. He's not a one-trick pony. Oh, we're cooking him. We're cooking him. How are we going to get into Elite Smash? With the hammer? With the hammer? Oh, dude. I want to punish a habit, actually. That's what this video is about, punishing habits. Uh, honestly, he just keeps throwing out weird things. So if I wait... I'll kill him. <laughs> oh, surely. Surely that's enough to get in Elite Smash. Please. Come on, Blue Kirby. Ah! He's it, boy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you made it this far and are not subscribed already. Oh my god. Please drop a like if you want to see more of these videos. And yeah, let me know in the comments what other characters you would like to see. I upload every day other than Monday, so hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.